Hello everyone. Hi. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for visiting me with me on A Crafter's Story. And I'm working on some signature pages for a journal. And so this is just regular 28 pound printer paper. Nothing super special about the paper, but I want to make it special. And so instead of coffee dyeing or tea staining or um, staining my papers in, in my, the ways I usually do, I thought I'd try something a little different. And luckily it did work out. This is one of my, eh, <laughs> is it going to work? And then it did. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so let me show you. I have another piece of paper that I did actually um, stain. And I just used water and a couple of drops of red food coloring um, and then lay it outside in the sun and um, there's bubbles and blotches and pooling and and let me show you the best part <gasps> the best part of it this sort of butterfly fanning was totally unexpected but I'm in love with it it's just so beautiful and then it's got, I think I've got you guys in front, yeah. And then it's got all this sort of bordering that happened as the uh, water dried and sort of, I guess, pulled in places, which I think is how this happened. Just beautiful. But now on this side, it's not quite as dramatic. But I'm going to try and do something like this over here, but not with pink. Um, I'm going to give it a contrast color of brown and gold and maybe a hint of blue so let me show you how I did that I'm just going to make sure it stays down um, I'm going to get out my I picked this up um, it's called Hampton Art pigment paint it's not permanent I don't think it's archival but it's cheap <laughs> it's from Walmart and I believe you can also order it online um, <clears throat> so I've got some of my gold um, this is archival. This is the Tim Holtz and it's the walnut stain. Let me use a little bit of that as well. Um, all right, let me probably put it up there <clears throat> like that and get out of my way. I do have a little bit of sort of like a, a the Hampton Art silver gray. Um, there's a bit of blue on here. I don't know if I'm going to use it. We'll kind of go and wait and see. Um, I I think I'm probably going to have to wet my ink just a little bit, just one squirt, one squirt of the water, like that should be fine. Okay, now, super easy you guys, there's no stenciling, well I suppose this is stenciling a little bit, but there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to take my lighter colour, get my dauber going here, and just where I have the paper sticking out I'm going to do that's quite a variation that's great and now I'm going to overlap in places so where I overlap and I double up on color it's going to darken that spot which is perfect see how it's darkened that spot just a little bit <clears throat> let's go down down there I always make sure always make sure that my ends are off the page so I don't have a, a dead end I don't have you know that would be a dead end that wouldn't I don't I don't think it would look very nice um, that's just me so I'm going to get some of this down here and it can be as dark or as light as you want it to be um, to get just get all the corners done first and I've just realized that I'm putting, I didn't have a protection down here. So I'm probably going to have a lot of that ink on this side. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was today. It's all right. It's okay. None of this has to be perfect. Perfection is an illusion. <laughs> Don't have to be perfect. Sometimes imperfections are the prettiest. Um, should we do it this way? Yeah, sometimes imperfections are the prettiest things that we um, come across. And so, I, I, generally speaking, 
try not to stress out if I make a boo-boo because I can usually do something to fix it. All right, now I've got my darker walnut color and I'm going to come, I have some choices to make. Do I do it everywhere? Do I do it only in places? Do I go on the outside, the inside? I think for me, I'm going to go on the outside and just do, because I, I think I, I like this sort of goldy color to be on the inside. So I'm just going to take some of my ends and overlap. Do an overlap. So you'll still be able to see how it's taking on almost like a geometric shape at this point. Um, I think I want a little bit more of the gold there. So I'm going to go back, back in here with my gold. That little spot there. Here we go. My granny used to say, there we go, 40 lorries in a row. <laughs> she worked hard, my granny. Um, okay, so let's see. Maybe I do that little spot like that. Whoop, uh oh, it went flying. Oh, come back here, you. <laughs> You thought you could get away. I don't think so. All right, let's get this on. I was going to do this with a little bit of music in the background, and then I started talking. <laughs> I completely forgot. Um, I think, with the exception of maybe... I'm going to do one more of the gold, I think, over here. Just like this. And you can overlap your overlap. <laughs> Does that make sense? You can do as many of these overlap um, pieces as you want. I don't think there is a rule. I'm going to do that there. And then maybe a little bit more of my... Whoop, don't you go anywhere. Maybe a little bit more of the gold just in the corner here and then I'm going to oops there we go maybe let's leave it there see how that turned out just want to close my ink quickly okay don't need that anymore and let's make this like that yes now I have a couple of little rub-on stickers and I thought the, just like I did with my original, I had some rub-on leaf, leaf stickers that I put on. There, there, there. Just a couple. I'm going to do that. Um, and I, let's see where I could place these. Maybe one, one there. Maybe a nice blue down here. No, put the blue up there. Um, I think I'm going to have to go smaller. Um, this down here. Yep, yeah, I think these will work. But first things first, I've got to get... I want to just give my writing area a border. And so I'm just going to take my Uniball gel pen... Whoops, didn't go all the way. And go all the, follow the stencil marks. And that is what's going to create the border for us. Like this. In places I think maybe I've gone a little over and that's okay. Like this. And then I'm going to put some lines in the middle here. I just think this is a slightly different take on having a journal page. Um, I just thought about something. I'm gonna I'm gonna go rogue. I'm gonna go all the way just to make this a little different. I'm gonna put my lines going all the way through. Um, and in places I'll have a rub-on sticker that goes over the line, and that's fine. Why? Because I can. 
There's no rule. Nobody said I couldn't. And then it looks different to the other page that I did. And it won't be sort of a matchy-matchy. It's to, it, And I think it gives it, it just adds to that geometric theme. Um, oh, this pen is not liking the areas where I've got the ink. But I think it'll be fine. If I just go over it, maybe go slow. Maybe, there we go, that worked. Okay. And then... Oh, this one's a long one. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to line it up. Oh, no. Still not the end. So line it up, line it up. There we go. I got it. Let's get this one lined up like this. All right. Oh, and here's one more. One more edge. Let's see. Get that lined up. Just like that. Okay. So... Now you've got a couple of options here, you guys. You could use these little segments on the side to doodle on. Or you can put these rub-on stickers on them, which is what I'm going to do. Um, I think I had this one down here. And I'm hoping this color is not too dark and it doesn't swallow up my sticker. But we're about to find out. Let's see. How that works might there's a little bit of gold on this rub on sticker which I'm hoping will show up let's see is this coming oh it's not coming it's almost like the ink is stopping the pen stopping Goodness, what is okay? I think I'm. I think I've got some success. Oh man, it's a bit of a mess up up there, but it's down. It is down. Okay, there we go. I've got one down. Let's put this little guy down here. Down there. I'll follow the lines. Gold rub-on stickers have not been my friend. <laughs> I'm not sure if if it's the pigment, but they they are notoriously difficult to get down without tearing. Um, so of course I decide to use them in this video, right? Stupid me, <laughs> silly me. But I think if I just if I'm just persistent, I think it would work. I think I'm getting there. Let's see. It's going to behave. Oh, oh no. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Let me try again. I'm not going to give up. I think I can line this up. Let me try again. Oh, I'm going to have to use a little bit of elbow grease here. And if my nail is maybe a bit sharper than this stick. Yes, I think so. Oh, why did I decide to use gold? I'm so silly. If any of you guys have the same problem, um, and you have some tips on how to get past this, maybe I just need to use a sharper tool because my nail seems to be doing a better job. Let's see. Almost there, you guys. I'm so sorry. This is taking forever. Okay, let's see. Okie dokie. Okay. Okay, that's... I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go off and do a few more of these stickers in the other corners. And then we put in some lines. And then that is it. So let me see. Maybe this pretty blue could go at the top. Let's see. And maybe we'll have a little better luck this time. <laughs> and it won't take forever. Let me just use my nail. I think it, I'm having more success. So I may just need a slightly sharper tool than the ice cream stick. 
that that's that seems to be working nicely. Oh yes, I'm having a bit more success with the sharper tools. So maybe it's just the ink that I, I should have left the ink a little bit to dry before I started doing this. I didn't have a problem with the previous one that I recall. I re don't remember having... But this one... Oh, did it. Yay. Okay, so let me leave that corner to dry for a little bit and let's then rather put in our lines um, with my really nice stenciling tool. So I'm going to line up this top of the paper with one of the, um, I guess it's not a hole, but you know, the stencil line and then I'll start here and go across and I just think this is a unique page in your journal that is both decorative and stained and lined for journaling you could leave a little note in that in the journal and say hey you, you know these are little segments that I've left open and not put stickers maybe and you leave it for doodling or you leave it for um, stamping. It really is a versatile page in that respect. I'm trying to make sure I don't goof this up because I, I did a practice run and I went over the lines and across the border. So I stuck a sticker on it <laughs> because it's, it's always my go-to. You know, if I make a mistake, oh, I did it. I just talked about not doing it, and then I did it. Gosh, man. See there? It's okay. Because I have a sticker. <laughs> I'll just stick something over it. Not a problem. That's a gold one, so that's going to give me a hard time, and I think I'll leave it for another time, maybe later, and I'll put this, this up here, and then our page is really done. So it's gone from nothing... Oh, you see how it's picking up the dirt here? So I'll definitely have to do something with this page, and that's fine. Not a big deal. I may just do something like this on that reverse side. Sorry, guys, if I can just get this off. It would be good. All right, so let me go and get this finished up and bring it back for a reveal. Okay, well, it was a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a rub-on sticker adventure <laughs> for the last ten minutes, um, but I think I finally got them um, on here and it came out really nicely. So I'll bring it up and just give you a quick little little show and tell reveal of how this came out. I think it's to me feels very Victorian, and I love that. I think it's just really pretty. Um, and although they are the same in terms of the technique, these two pages do feel very different to me. Um, let me see if I can bring it in just a little bit for you to have a better, better view of it. Maybe just like a little bit. Oops, a little bit too much. Let me go back. A little bit. Oopsie. There you go. So... I'll just scoot them back, you see the top, and you could leave spaces open like here and here, and you can doodle with a white pen, or a gold pen, or a silver pen, um, or just leave it, or maybe put some words in there if you prefer. I haven't left much um, on this one, I just filled it up with all the, the flower stickers, which I thought were pretty, and I liked all the gold on it. I thought the gold on the stickers went with the colour of the ink, and then as I move it up, you see... Um, the same is true for the bottom edges. Um, I think these are gorgeous. They're going to look, they, it's a nice surprise in a journal and they're unique and every page is going to look different. So um, I hope you try it. Let me go back a bit. There we go. I'm trying not to rock the camera, but it seems like I keep doing it. Well, there you go, you guys. Um, 
just a quick and easy way to embellish a page for your journals. I hope it's something that inspired you and that you can use. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>